you already know what is a state diagram and how to draw the state diagram in this presentation i will explain you an advanced version of this state diagram that we call as the asm chart where asm is an acronym for the algorithmic state machine so i will write it down a is for algorithmic a l g o r i t h m i c and s is for state m stands for machine so this is our full form for the asm chart the first thing that we will do in this presentation is to see the components involved in the asm chart then we will make the asm chart for this state diagram so let's move to the components the first one that you can see here we call as the state box the state box this rectangular one and this one we call as the decision block d e c i s i o n box and the third one we call as the condition box this third box is only used in the mealy state machines that's why sometime it is called as the mealy box and there is one very important point that you have to remember regarding this last box it is only used when the output is high so i will write this thing down only used if the output is hi now we have sufficient information and we can make the asm chart for this state diagram the first thing that we have to do is to make the state box for s0 so i will make one state box for the state s0 this is s0 and the input in this state box is x and we will make the decision box and depending upon this decision box the next state will be decided this is 0 this is 1 so let's see what we got as the transition when we are on s0 if the input is 0 if x is 0 you can see here we are on the same state with output equal to 0 so we will move to s0 when x is equal to 0 and we have not used this condition box because the output is 0 it means output is low and we will use this condition box only when the output is high so let's check for the next condition when input is equal to 1 and in that case we will move to s1 from s0 with output equal to 1 so we have to make a condition box in this case and also we will make another state box for s1 so this is the state box representing my s1 i will make the condition box here here i will make the condition box and uh, i will do the transition from s0 to s1 z is my output so we are done with the state 0 now we will move to state 1 that is s1 and if input is equal to 0 and before actually doing this let me make the decision box this is my decision box x 1 0 now i'm on s1 if the input x is equal to 0 i'm going to be on s1 but there is one thing that you have to take care is the output the output is 1 so definitely i need the condition box so i will make the condition box here this is the condition box z is the output and i will go on the same state i am on s1 and i will be on s1 for the input equal to 0 now when input is 1 i will move to s2 from s1 so i again need to make the next state box which will represent s2 this is s2 and if the input is equal to 1 i will go on s2 like this and you can see the output is equal to 0 so we don't require any condition box now we are on s2 and we have to check the two cases when input is equal to 0 and when input is equal to 1 here x is my input and it is equal to 0 i am going to be on the same state with output equal to 0 so no problem making this i am on s2 i need a decision box this is the decision box 1 0 if the input is 0 i'm going to be on s2 
and the output is 0 so no condition box is there and if the input is equal to 1 I am going to S not or S0 with output equal to 1 the output is 1 so I need the another I will make it in yellow so I need the another condition box and I will transit to to S0 from S2 so this is how the ASM chart for this state diagram looks it is very simple only thing you have to remember is the components when to use what component and how to see the state diagram you know what is the input and what is the output the input is this one and output is this one and depending upon this you have to fill this ASM chart if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask in the comment box but I don't think you will face any problem in this particular presentation we have used the mealy state machine this is my mealy state machine and most probably in the next presentation I'm going to do one exam on ASM chart and I will use the more state machine and it will be a uh, fun to do that if I talk about the toughness the next example I'm going to take is little bit tough because uh, this example is only for the introduction purpose and uh, if you see that presentation after it you will have a crystal clear approach for the ASM charts so I will end this presentation here see you in the next one